All right, we're starting lightning talks now. So first up, we have Harry Ward. Um, my name is Harry Ward, and I'm going to be running you through a pretty quick presentation on streamlining small town business operations with meteor applications. I'm going to cover how we found a problem, um, how we solved it, and then a couple quick demos. Uh, one that's totally not related, but it's kind of cool, and I hacked it uh, together today, so I want to show you that. Um, about me, I uh, started as a salesman, then I became a developer, and for the last four years, I've been essentially scratching itches for the company I work for. I build internal operational tools um, that solve problems, and uh, with Meteor, I can solve problems a lot faster. So um, the next part I want to cover is I wanted to, I knew I wanted to build an application with Meteor because I I learned it, I was playing with it. And you can only you know, play around so long until you actually want to put uh, your work to use. So, um, I, but I didn't know what to build. So um, I went back to my hometown, uh, Missoula, Montana, and uh, I decided to start talking to people and see if there was any itches that I could scratch. I ended up having dinner with my girlfriend and uh, Scott Anderson. He's the middle guy in the boat, and he was telling me about all these operational problems that fly fishing outfitters have in the state of Montana. And they're primarily wrapped around scheduling and reporting for fishing outfitters. Um, the first problem, which is kind of a big one, is the guide scheduling. Um, you're, you have a customer, which is on the left-hand side, and then you have an outfitter. The outfitter is like the travel agent for the guide. So a guide can't get a fishing trip directly from a customer, they have to go through an outfitter. So the outfitter's just kind of sitting there and, and calling all these guys or text messaging all these guys. I only put six on there. Some of our outfitters now have 20 guides in their pool. So um, they have a customer that calls up, they're literally making 20 phone calls. So that's a huge problem. <clears throat> Eventually they select one. Then they match that guide up with that customer. The outfitter doesn't go fishing at all. All they are is a middleman. Um, so the fishing trip happens, and then the final product of that is a, is a trip log. Uh, the trip log contains information that the state needs um, about the fishing trip because they require all these crazy reports on fishing. So in this case, a single fishing trip has to be reported to four different entities and not the same report. Okay, same data, but different reports. So what these guys had to do, and keep in mind these guys aren't computer geniuses, They're, they live in log cabins and half of our clients barely have internet. So they're having to sit there and either do it by hand or use Microsoft Excel and copy and paste about 400 times. Um, we have clients that, the fishing season started about two months ago and we have clients that already have 300 trips on the books. Um, so we created this solution called GuidePool, um, and it's 29 bucks a month for outfitters, and it's free for guides. And I'm going to, we had three guys, so with three guys we were able to launch this, this app. Um, I don't consider myself a rock star developer, or at least I didn't then, but I was able to put together an application that's producing revenue. Um, and it feels pretty good. And now I have RJ, who's tuning in, I want to say hi to him, and Jason Cross, who are making phone calls about 15 hours a day to outfitters selling this application. So quick, I just want to cover the achievements really quick. So in two weeks, we had our first paying customer. And in two months later, it's been two months, we have over 50 paying customers and almost 300 members. Um, and this is GuidePool. So I'm just going to cover the two problems. Number one, booking a guide. So each, each outfitter has a fixed number of people that are in their pool. So this is my direct team, all my guides, and they all have calendars and everything. And if I want to book a trip on the 23rd of July, I only see who's available on that day. I just saved myself 20 phone calls, okay? So once a trip happens, Yep, I'll wrap up soon. Once a trip happens, we have a fishing trip landing ticket that they fill out, which populates all of these reports, which repurposes all this data into a bunch of different report styles, which is accepted by the state. 
And that's the reporting side of it. And the last thing I wanted to show you is this shows you, based on where you are, the parking or the street cleaning schedule. And I built this today. Nice. <laughs> cool, thank you. Yep.